So welcome back, aliens. In the last video, we have talked about this activity, right? In which we have created, we have created, we have entered some values. Then we can mention, uh, we can mention the name, we can mention the gender, email ID, password. And as soon as I click on this button, create account, it will show you the, that that message in, inside our toast, right? So in this video, what we'll do is we'll talk about intent. So uh, why we require intent here? So let me just remove this comment first. So if I remove this comment and a slash. Now what I want, uh, I have created this activity here, which is show data activity in which I want to show the details which you have entered in this sign up activity. So if I enter, let's say Naveen, so it should print hello. And if I mention gender like male, so if I, it should say hello, Mr. Naveen. And that's my email ID, which I enter there and then the password, right? That's what we want. So as soon as I click on this button, which is not this one, if as soon as I click on this button here, so it should call the second activity in which you have to see the details, right? So let's break down this task into two parts. First, we'll try to call the activity and then we'll think about how to set the values. Okay, so now to work with that activity, we need to create something called as intent. So what is intent? Intent is, it, intent is something which, which specifies to your Android that something is happening. You want to call an activity or you want to uh, set the broadcast or you, you want to work with broadcast messages or you can you know, if you, it's, it's, it's your intent basically. So how to use intent? So we have to mention intent and then we can create object of intent as, uh, let's say I, and then we can say new intent. Okay. So that's how you create object of intent. Okay. Now question arises: why we require intent here? Oh, why I'm getting error for I is because I already have this int variable. So let me just make it intent. So why we exactly why we require this intent? So let's say I don't uh, let's say I want to call the second activity. So I could just mention start activity, right? So we can directly mention start activity here. So in order to call the second activity, we have to mention start activity. But it asks you. So this start activity will ask you for. So if I say control space, so this will ask you for the intent because in the intent you mention that which activity to call. But hold on, we have not mentioned that, right? So we have to mention two parameters here. The first parameter is from which class or from which object you're calling it. So the object is sign up activity. So this is sign up activity dot this. We are, we are trying to call show data dot class. So we are calling this class, which is show data. So we are calling activity with show data from sign up activity. It's that simple, right? And if I run this code now, Let's see if it's working or not. So let me check my emulator now. So it will reopen the app. So let's try it out now. So let's let me enter my details. I will say this is NN and mail and that's we can enter email ID, any email ID here. We can enter a password and once you click on this button, create account. So we got the message and we also got the activity, right? So that's how you can call one page from other page, you can also call one activity from other activity using start activity method. Simple, right? Uh, but hold on, I, I, I also want this messages, right? I want to print, uh, hello, Mr. Then Naveen and or NN to, to, for that matter. And then we can mention email ID and password, right? Now to do, to do that, uh, we need to pass some data there. Now how to pass data? So we can simply say intent. So we can pass the data using intent. So we can say intent dot put extra and in this you can specify the label. So what we are passing, we are passing name and in which variable you are passing your name. So we are passing name in name variable, right? Then we can say intent dot put extra. So that's the method we have to use put extra here and we can say gender and we can pass gender is saved. Let's say I want to print the salute there and, and we need to make sure that we use put extra not push put extras because that that's the default thing it gives you so you have to mention put extra and we can say this is email and we can send email and then last part we have to send password right so we have to say intent dot put extra we can say this is pass okay and we are passing a variable which is pass so we are sending all this data to the show data activity so how to fetch that data here right we need to fetch that those data right so to do that, since we are passing the data inside an intent, we have to receive the data again from the from the intent, right? 
So we have to say intent, uh, we'll say intent. Now in this case, we don't have to create the new intent because every time you create new intent, it will, be, it will give you the default blank intent. We don't want the blank intent, we want the intent from which you're passing the data. So for that, we have to say get intent so that we'll get, we'll, we will, so that we get the, those data here. Now once you got the intent, we can simply say string, we want name and from where to fetch name so we can simply say this is uh, intent dot get string because we, are, we can also mention the type of data we are, we are receiving so we can say get string extra and we can mention in which label we are passing data so that's name and then we can enter all this data okay all these details here and the, the thing is we have the name as string as name and then we have also created text view so display data, so it is also name, uh, so it will conflict, right? So what I will do is I will say this is S name, this is S gender, this is what S email, and this is S pass. That sounds weird, right? But that's that will do for us. So now once we got this data, or once we got this detail, let's let's display that detail on the text view. And for that, we need to create object of text view, right? So we have to provide the name, we have to provide the object for text view. So we have to say uh, text view so we'll say this this is text oh where's that so we'll say this is text view and we can mention find view by id and here you have to mention the reference which is r dot id dot so the variable name was txt it was txt name right so just txt name and how to check that go to your show activity and we have this thing here this is txt name uh, the salute here is txt gender and what's that? That is email and that's password, txt email and txt password, right? So let's provide those data here. So we'll say this is, let me just reuse the code for and this is gender, okay? And this is txt, uh, txt gender. So this is my, what, email and this is pass okay and this thing here will be txt why am, I, why am I typing e every time okay then we have to mention email and the last one is pass right now once we got all the reference now that let's set the data now how to set data here it's very simple we just have to say name dot set text and the text we have to specify is s name here so we can specify s name then the next one is gender, so we'll say this is gender dot set text, and we can specify s gender, right? And then we can specify email email dot set text. We can specify s email, and then we can specify the last one, which is pass dot set text as what uh, s pass. Now once we have set all the values, I think it should work now. And if I run this activity, let's run it. Let's run, let's run this. Okay, it will take some time to load. So it is loading. Okay, it will take some time. Okay, so let's enter the values. So we'll say this is, uh, maybe I will say N A V. I will say mail, you, uh, we can enter anything, we can pass it the password as CCC and if I click on, if I click on this create account, it should work and bingo, you can see we got the output which is hello Mr. Naveen or nav, username is nnn and password is CCC, right, so that's how we can use intent in Android, so there are multiple uses of intents but since we are the beginners, so we are only looking at the basic part of intent which is calling the other activity so yeah that's it from this video if you have any doubts any comments you can just comment in the comment section of course and uh, if you have any suggestions for further videos if you want some more videos about other topics just, just uh, do comment that also and yeah thanks, thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos